Yo, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. If you guys have missed out on any episodes, like always, you can check out playlists. Get yourself caught up on the ones you have not yet seen. We out here in the deep roads. We got stuff going on. Also, you can check out merch if that's something you'd be interested in. Links in the description, on channel page, all that good stuff. Uh, sorry for you guys who are watching live who just saw me do that in the outro of that one. And now, once again, in this one, but it's how it be out here. Because I'm also recording and uploading these. But um, Wolf says, oh no, I was gone too long and now you'll be back. But now we are back. He also says, all good. Uh, Stormtrooper Cut is going. Bye. We'll see you later, Stormtrooper Cut. Thanks for watching. Uh, we got a big bad dude that we have to take out here. So let's get a quick save here. Let's go try this out. We're down here in the deep roads doing some questing. Things are things are pretty intense. Oh, fudge. You know what? I just realized. Really got things all butzed up here because I wasn't even showing my um, interface. I had it off for like taking thumbnails and I forgot to put it back on. I was like, where is all my stuff? I didn't even didn't even work. What the heck is going on? Okay, that should be Yes, confirm changes. We good? Ah, there it is. There's my stuff. Oh, we're gonna drop this on this fool because he's a big bad. Oh, he's really bad, dude. He's actually really freaking tough. He just grabbed me. Dude, look at how much health this bro has. Holy frig. Completely frigging us up. He just killed me. God damn. I don't even know what to do at this point in the game. I think I'm I think I'm a little bit too weak for this. Maybe not. Maybe we can pull this off. We we're kind of low on potions though, so that's bad. These guys are all have, seem to have like a lot of health. We're going to try and do a spinny maneuver. Drop the old spin to win on him. Nope, he picked me up again. He's going to punch me. Grab me and he's punching me. Dorian, you dingus, take a potion and like do something here. I'm getting frigged up by this guy. He picked me up and is punching me. There we go. He dropped me. Get that guard up. Oh yeah, let's uh... Oh, he's got me again? Why does he just keep grabbing me? What a frig. He's gonna kill me. Oh, yep. I think we're about to lose. I think we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to head back to like base and get our po potions up. Yeah, we're we're done. Of course, you got Blackwall here. He's holding out. He don't die ever. Blackwall is the opposite of Sean B, and we established that last episode. Not last episode. It was a couple ago, but yeah, yeah. He's still after that. He got picked up and, like, completely rocked by that guy. And he's still alive. How is this possible? Dude, Blackwall is going to single-handedly take on this entire army. I don't know how this is, like, even possible. He's got picked up again. He's getting punched. And he's barely taking any damage. Look at he's taking no damage. His health bar is not even moving. This guy is a beef castle. What the fudge? We're gonna have to finish this fight out with this guy. Who doesn't even get killed by a freaking ogre. Look at that. No damage. Why is my warrior not as good as this guy? Like, usually the player character is kind of beefed up. This guy is way stronger than anybody in the game. I have better armor than him. I have better moves than him. And yet, look at look at what look at what he's gone through several times, <laughs> and he's chilling. I don't understand. 
All right, well, I guess I could just use him and bring the rest of the party back because he's just he's just tanking it. He's not even taking damage from any of this. He's going to bring the whole party back. My god. What a legend. What a freaking legend. I thought we were going to have to like go back to camp and redo this, but at this point it seems like we're kind of good. Did we just kill the ogre? Oh no, he just kind of... He, he disappeared, but he's back. Things might be a little bit broken. Uh, Wolf got to uh, work, but he'll be lurking. Alrighty, I appreciate that. Have uh, have fun doing some uh, some work and stuff. I know that's not the most fun thing in the world, having to do work, but yeah. I'll be here probably for... I, I'm thinking I'll probably just do an hour here today. I streamed yesterday. I'm streaming today. I think we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit shorter today. I would still kind of like to record. I have a video that I'd like to record. And I usually do it on Thursdays, but I didn't because I was live. Oh, um... Dingle Dwarf is about to die again. Let's go ahead and do one of those. Did we just... Are we just winning? Are we winning right now? Did we just come back from that absolute destruction that we were just facing? Blackwall's frozen. But he's still alive. Somehow. Somehow Blackwall has lived through all of this. And he's got health back. We had no health potions. He had like a tiny bit of health down and somehow he got it back. There seriously must be something broken in the code with this guy. How this is even possible. Craziest thing I've ever seen. He single-handedly pulled out that demon fight that we did that was... Super insane uh, last time, too. Whatever episode that was where we had to go, like, take that castle. It was Blackwall. Blackwall was the one who freaking did it. Did the whole thing. Gears in the deep row. All right, so we got a gear. I'm getting a quest marker to, like, over here. I'm kind of wondering, can we like go back to camp and get ourselves fixed up? Cause we're in we're in very bad shape. What if we do world map? Uh, yeah, we can actually go back to this camp. I think. Nice. We'll have to make our way all the way back down here and stuff, but we can inspect inspect the uh, expedition table. Uh, recovering barrel treasure. We'll have Cullen do that, I suppose. And Uncharted Abyss. I don't think there's anything here for us to do. Uh, sorry, I think our potions should be back. One other thing we could do is maybe just head back to Skyhold real quick. Because there's all the operations we can do on the war table there. So we'll take a break from being down in the depths for like a little bit and we'll go... Um, We'll go war table it up real quick. Just do some operations there. And then we'll get back down in the depths. There's some kind of mystery going on. And we're going to get to the bottom of it. I think this... Um, Eight viewers were popping off with on Twitch here. I think it's going to do it. I think it's going to get my average up enough to get me to that affiliate level. So I appreciate you guys who are all over there chilling and watching and stuff. I'm actually going to check what my uh, 
It's saying 2.84 now. <laughs> Almost there. Twitch just does not want to give it to me. <laughs> 2.84. So crazy. Come on, Dragon Age. You and your long freaking loading times. I say it every time, but every time it's completely ridiculous. Let's go. We're just going back to Skyhold. Nothing nothing major, nothing crazy. We're going to Skyhold. Oh, I could get my uh, level up also while we're at it. I might as well do that. It's probably a good thing to do. What do I want to get? What is going to make me more powerful? I want to be like Blackwall, dude. I want to not be getting knocked down and killed all the time. That freaking guy is like a beast. Every critical hit reduces the cooldown time on your abilities, giving you the edge to finish off your enemies. That could be handy. But also, we have more of this stuff. Um, Coupe de Grace. You deal more damage against enemies that are stunned or knocked down better them than you. Dive and roll to where the battle needs you to be. When you attack a target from behind, you leave them slowed. This stuff. They can't kill what they can't hit. You get a bonus to your maximum guard. Oh, that, that could be kind of good. I'm going to do that one. <clears throat> uh, yes, let's apply. Did anybody else have, like, level ups? Yeah, you do. Let's give you an auto level. Auto level. Bunch of people, I think, have them. Oh, Cole has... I never, uh, <laughs> I never actually, some of these people, I don't take them with me. So like they never actually got level ups because I'm back at, um, Skyhold. It's letting me see everybody, not just the people who are in my party. Descent, investigate the corpses. Oh, okay. So that's what we were doing. It had like a quest marker down there, but I wasn't seeing like what exactly it wanted me to do. So I'd kind of like to, if we can, finish this uh, quest line up. Oh, we got a, we got an Inquisition uh, level up. Should we increase carrying capacity, or should we add another potion? No, we don't need to add another potion slot. That's not very handy. Fifty percent XP for codexes, rare stocks, uh, friends in high places. We have a lot of these ones. I'm trying to think of what's going to be... Second tier focus effect for abilities can now be triggered. Increase maximum focus from 100 to 2. I guess we'll do that, whatever. I don't know what that does for me, to be honest with you. Protect Val... All right, we'll do this. We'll run some of these right. um, operations here on the war table. Aid those impacted by civil war. That sounds like something nice to do. We'll send Josephine in for that. An offer of help on their terms. I'd say, Inquisitor. yeah, we'll do that one. We probably have some stuff we can gather from over here. Amulet of Magic, nice. All right, cool. So that's done. Let's head back down into the deep roads. Let's get the, uh, let's keep the action going. Let's get back to where that freaking ogre was, absolutely destroying us. <clears throat> Oh, oh wait, it's over here. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we gotta like run our way back through all that crap, but that's fine. I wonder if I should maybe not have a ranged guy. Like I could, cause Dorian is a mage. He's kind of already my ranged guy, so like I could. Um... But Varric is a dwarf, so I feel like I should have Varric with me. I don't know. I guess the party works out all right. I just feel like you're generally better off going full tank mode, like having Blackwall, he's, you know, weapon and shield. Having me, I'm just two-handed weapon. Having, like, another 
big heavy hitter, maybe like um, Iron Bull. But uh, then you don't you miss out like if you're trying to build the party for how good they are in fights, then you miss out on story related stuff because like Varric is a dwarf, so it's nice to have him with me because I'm also a dwarf and we're going down into like dwarven areas down in the deep roads. So like it makes sense to have more dwarves in the party. But then it makes my party weaker. So it's like you're kind of, you got to pick and choose. Like you're, you're going to lose out on having a good party or having a good story because you have the right people with you. And that's kind of how all these games have always been, like Dragon Age in general. So I think, um, I don't remember when it was. I'll have to look it up uh, after I'm done. But there, there's going to be like an announcement, I think, on the next Dragon Age on uh, Dreadwolf. Which I think at that announcement, they're going to say when it's actually coming out. And so that's going to be kind of good to know finally when the next game is. Because it's been, this was like 2014, I think this came out. It's so crazy how long it takes to develop these games now. Like, every game, it's like you're waiting, like, 10 years for the next one to come out. And I know we kind of had, like, COVID in between all that stuff. So that definitely, like, it definitely set a lot of things back. But I don't know, man. And look at the Elder Scrolls. The next game, is it's been, like, over 10 years. It's been a long freaking time. I feel like, um, you know, between these next games that actually finally come out, like, you know, like Elder Scrolls Six, when that finally comes out, the wait between that one and the next one, it's like, I'm going to be an old man by the time we freaking get another one past, past that. It's like so insane. I think that uh, Inquisition upgrade I got with the focus, I think that is like your um, ability to do these, holy crap, these special abilities. I think that upped my amount of being able to do special stuff like my spin maneuver. That just completely sends me up into the sky like a helicopter. That definitely feels like some kind of D&D &D sort of thing that I could see somebody doing. Like, uh, my dwarf has a longsword, and he spins so fast that he becomes a helicopter and flies... Wait a second, no, what? We just did this fight. We have to do it again? Are you kidding me? This can't be, dude. You're gonna make me have to do this again. Dude, this is crap. How am I supposed to break free? Nobody's helping me break free. I guess I'm just playing as Blackwell. My my dude's gonna die. We have to go through this fight again. Blackwell's the only one who can deal with it. Dude, now Dorian's gonna die. Oh, that's a roll. Okay. That's a good one. Knock him down. Yo, that's some good moves. Oh, the ogre's up here. I'm trying to just take these arch. Why are these guys so strong? I know this is sort of endgame stuff, but, like, we already beat the main story. We're pretty tough when it comes to fights, I feel like. And we should be at this point in the game where we're at. But, like, these guys are still so freaking tough. I'm just 
trying to like stay hidden in this corner so I can take this guy out and let the ogre kind of chill over there for a bit. You see, he's gonna charge at me, but he can't get at me. This is this is perfect maneuvering here. Oh wait, he's getting close. He's gonna get me, isn't he? How is that guy drinking potions? Dude, I don't know what is happening right now. I have no idea what the frig is going on right now. My whole party's dead except for me and Varric, or Blackwall and Varric. So I'm basically just playing Blackwall right now because he's the only one who actually can stay alive through any of this crap. I think what I'm going to do is maybe take out these smaller guys and try and get out of here past the ogre to get back to my party and bring them back to life. And if we can do that, then uh, we can all fight the ogre together, I guess. Just got to avoid getting grabbed by him. Oh, he's sneaking in here. Oh, he's sneaking in here. He's just glitched out. I don't know where he went. He disappeared over that table. I don't even know where Varric actually is. <laughs> we're all just, we're all just stuck in this corner, just smacking each other. This is so crazy. Why is this happening? To break the ogre's grab, using oh, we already know that. Oh wait, why does the ogre have me? Okay, Varric, you need to like, you need to do something crazy. You need to switch to him and hit him with something. Hit him with something big. How did the ogre even grab me when we're hidden in this little hidey, hidey hole here? Okay, I think we're finally taking some some of these guys down. Blackwell needs to get out of here. He's gonna go. He's just gonna go run and save everybody. Let's just get Blackwall out of here to go over to the uh, Inquisitor and Dorian and bring them back. Come back. There's more of them guys down there. All right. Gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and play as Blackwall still. Oh, he's broken. He's broken still. Oh god, dang it! I hate these ogres so much. Oh, here we, here we go, here we go. Here's what we, here's what we gotta do. Um, I have this ability, so I'm gonna drop it in, and that should do a lot of damage on these guys, hopefully. Let's get this ogre to drop black wall. Let go of my dude. He's charging. I think I think we're doing it. What are these guys? I don't remember these guys being in any uh, other games. God dang ogre man, he will not break off. This ogre will not leave me alone. We're gonna run through all of our potions again. We're gonna be back in the same situation as we were before when I had to leave here and go to re-up my potions. I don't think there's like a good way out of this. Maybe if we play this part and get past it and then uh and then leave and re-up my potions. It, we won't have to like do this fight again, maybe. Okay, we're gonna kill this ogre with my spinning maneuver. 
We've done it with eight potions to spare. That's actually not too bad. That's better than last time. Still not ideal, though. Investigate the corpses. Okay, so this maybe we'll save it and we There's won't have to do that again. Can't even tell who they were. I'm sorry, Ren. You joined the Legion knowing you're already dead. You don't fear the killing blow. We rest in the stone and pass our strength back to her. That's our reward. But the Darkspawn defiled these soldiers. They can't return to the stone. They'd only weaken her. Um... Then let's avenge them. We'll make the Darkspawn pay for what they've done. Yeah. I've killed so many. But every time I stare into their black eyes, I know one day it won't be quick enough. One day the Darkspawn Stop. will take us. It's the truth, Valta. I'm going to die down here. I can only hope it won't be like this. We'll burn the remains. Honor them with flame. Hmm. The Dwarven custom, they, because of how they died, they can't uh, be buried in the stone like a regular dwarf, and so we have to burn them? That's weird. I think they were, um, oh, what the heck are they called? Look the, at uh, that, Ren. Legion of the Dead. Darkspawn all over it. You can see their torches. Even Darkspawn appreciate a little mood lighting. We're getting yeah. <laughs> close to something. Aye. The fight of our lives. The fight of our lives. Dude, I am not ready for that. I thought that last fight was the fight of our lives. Now there's more? You mean to tell me there's more? Yeah, there's another lift that's going to go take us down. Oh, there's supply cash, though. Everybody take your potions. Get your health up. And let's grab this. And let's boogie on down. Fight of our lives, man. Fudge. Keep your mouth closed when fighting Darkspawn. Their blood's poison. Um. Appreciate the advice. Thanks for the warning. There yeah, so if you accidentally... Vaughn, who joined the Legion around the same time I did. Fast with daggers. Could poke 50 holes in our airlock before the blighter knew what happened. Daggers are messy. Vaughn... Swallowed some spatter. Took him three days to die. Dang. We need to work on your stories, Grizzly. It's a little shaky on this elevator. I don't like that. Yeah, the Darkspawn blood is... It will, like, corrupt your, your blood or something and turn you into a Darkspawn eventually. So, like, that's where the Grey Wardens come in. If you were to, like, accidentally take on Darkspawn blood, you have to join the Grey Wardens... And even that can kill you, because there's... Lost a good soldier in the roads once. Should there's a uh, thing you have to do where you end up later. drinking Darkspawn he blood. It's like... Story. She spent a whole day telling us all the strange things she saw while lost. A golden longboat floating in the air. Packs of anything over here. hairless children hunting nugs. A giant skeleton on a throne. Was it true? <laughs> Never found out. She woke up the next day... Couldn't remember any of it. Hmm. Yeah, so like that's the whole premise of the first one is you accidentally get darkspawn blood in you somehow, like you swallow it or you get you get the blight somehow. And so that your only option is to join the Grey Wardens. Where you go and you have to take on take in uh Darkspawn blood in the um the joining. I guess it's Darkspawn blood mixed with other stuff, but that's what makes you a Grey Warden. Is basically you take on the taint that is bad for you, so that way you can uh, detect the dark spawn and be able to fight them. It's it's such a weird thing, but it's so interesting. I don't know if I want to step into that fecus water. Maybe you can come out here, and I can fight you here. Now we got skeletons that want to fight us. Walking corpses. Get over here. Um, 
Where's the loot? There's some kind of loot. Oh, it's a gear. Okay, I'm collecting these gears. I think there's probably going to be a door. Maybe it's a bonus thing that we can get into if we collect all these gears. It says one out of 22. I've been collecting these for a while. Like, I have to have more than one out of 22. Oh, wait. We have uh, install bloodstain ancient gears. Do we have to go search for more? Like, I've been collecting these this whole time. Oh, hey, we got one. Have a look at this. This one will work. The other one maybe is bonus. I think this may be the main one, main story area. And uh, the other way may be like some kind of extra. I don't want any of that. Wait, I think I saw a gear. Maybe not. Maybe not. I thought I saw one up top there, but I must be mistaken. We got enemies on the other side. This is going to be bad. Hopefully they're not tough guys. These, these guys down here in the dark, deep roads all seem to be pretty tough. heck was that? I just heard something uh, behind me. That's odd. Maybe something outside. There is like a window over there, but that was weird. <laughs> kind of scared me a little bit. Well, I, I just remembered I have to shave my beard after I'm done here. Jake, are you going to join the server after this or no? No, I don't think so. I think after this I'm probably done streaming like I said I need to uh, I need to record actually I never recorded my um, void hero episode I was supposed to record that yesterday but I was I streamed and I didn't sleep so I was pretty tired I ended up taking a nap after I was done streaming so I gotta record that and maybe try and edit that and then of course I have these streams that I'm running right now that I'll have to edit and like re-upload re so. Are you still going to make more videos on the server or no? Uh, I possibly could. I don't know, we kind of had like a bit of an ending last time so I don't know if I'm going to. Until like, you know, next season when we start a new world, you know? I guess. Um, down we go. I'm really wondering, what are we going to find down here? I, cause, like I said, this is a quest line that I've never actually done. I've played th through this game several times, but I've never played this DLC. Oh, there's another one of those ones. These ones are bad. Are you going to add my idea I give you on Void um, Skyblock or no? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's uh, That was the plan. Holy crap. These guys are really messing me up. Oh, dude. They're seriously frigging me up. Dude, I am just getting killed left and right. Why is my character so freaking weak, dude? There we go. That's full shield. I don't think I can pull that guy over. Some of them are not pullable. Come on, let me get my shield up. Frig, dude, I'm gonna die. Uh, have you ever played on the Hermit Craft before? Or no? No, I haven't. Never have. Have you? 
What is uh, what is even hermit craft? Like I've heard, I, I know of the SMP or whatever, the hermit craft thing, but like I don't even know what it is to be honest with you. Never really followed. Okay, this guy's not super tough, but he was kind of a butthole -ini. Does he drop anything? He doesn't even drop anything. What a dingus. All right, let's just keep on keeping on here. Keep on moving on. You know, I was kind of thinking maybe while I'm live, I could just stay live and do the Void Hero map live. Is that something you think would be a good idea, Ross? Instead of, like, recording it. And then I probably won't edit it down as much as I usually do. Just, like, kind of how I do my streams and just re-upload it. Frig off spider. Nobody likes spiders. Nobody likes spiders. Now we're finding a scorched a ancient gear. What are those uh what are those gonna do for me? Yeah, you should give it a try. Yeah, we could do that. <clears throat> After I finish this up, I'm gonna take a bit of a break. Not very long, but I'll stay live and I'll uh, I'll come back to Void uh, Void Hero afterwards. God dang it! I hate when it's like nice that Dorian does that. He's like necromancing these things back to life to fight for us. But at the same time, they get in the way and then it like keeps me from looting their bodies because they're technically still alive. So it's like it's good, but it's annoying. Ooh, that was quick. Worse. Must be close to a nest. That explains the stench. Dark spawn nest, eh? I need five scorched gears. Oh, we're gonna have to do some searching, aren't we? Gonna have to do some major search. There's a scorch gear. That's three. Oh, they're not really that far away, though. Four. There should only be one more. And I hear, like, a monkey or something. And this is five? Easy peasy. They really made it easy on me with these gears. We got Darkspawn incoming. And everything's on fire also. Why is everything on fire? There we go. Dude, holy crap. This is this is intense. I don't even know. I can't even tell what's happening right now. So in that case, I'm just going to start spinning. Ross says it was funny seeing you fight the Shadow Leviathan. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Actually, we didn't do too bad, though. Like, I, I had to reset, you know, by my saves and stuff. But, like, I don't know. I didn't... I survived down there, sort of. It wasn't too bad. Holy crap, man. What is even happening right now? I can't even, like, see what's going on. Yeah, that's why all this, like, playing this again makes me very curious what they're doing for the next one, because, I don't know, the combat wasn't perfect in this one. It wasn't horrible, but, like, like a lot of this stuff, like, I can't even see what's happening. 
I mean, you do have a party surrounding you fighting, so like it's kind of hard to see through everybody what what all is going on. But like, and that's why they give you the pause function, so you can kind of like move around the battlefield and see what's going on. But I don't know. I don't know, man. This combat was a little messy in this one. God dang, they just keep going, man. So we should put a resource pack on the server it would be cool to do well like i said in the next season we're gonna have a lot more stuff like not a resource pack i mean you can put any texture pack you want on it but we're gonna have like we're gonna have tps so like you can um request tps it's so, like say you're in an area and you're like oh I, I need to get to this other person you can like send a request on the chat and then they can accept it and they you can teleport to them there's going to be like claim areas, so like you can claim uh, your house area. Uh, there's going to be warps, so you can set like a warp that people, other people can type in in the chat and like be able to uh, warp to that area. Like there's going to be a lot of new stuff coming in the uh, next season. We got, we got, uh, I mean, that's what we had. We had a poll on the channel. We had a vote about, like, what we were going to do. If we wanted to add all that stuff or if people wanted it to be more vanilla. And, uh, the vote was for doing all that crazy stuff, so. It's going to be good. And a lot, a lot of stuff going to be going on. Oh no. We're into another kind of rough fight here. I'm just, I can't even like function. I'm just getting knocked down every two seconds. Holy crap, dude. I seriously, I can't even get any, any moves in. I'm spinning. I'm spinning. When in doubt, spin it out. Rosses, can we not fight in the next season? I mean, there's going to be, like, an arena. So, like, fights will be contained to the arena. Like, if you want to challenge somebody, you can always go to the arena and fight them or whatever. It's kind of the whole point. Come on, let me get my spin. I got to spin it out. When in doubt, spin it out. Dang it, he's getting his shield up again. Oh, that actually breaks his shield down. That's pretty good. Should play the server that you and Cap played and died in. Uh, which one's that? Are you talking about like Hexit? Because that is long gone, if that's the one you're talking about. Like that world, that server is, is way gone. Been gone for a long time. What the heck is happening? Uh, who is dead? I should probably bring them back, right? Varric? You can come back, Varric. There's just so many dark spawn here. Whoa! I didn't realize that, that was just a... I thought all, all my dudes just went that way. I could have swore I seen all my guys running off that way. <laughs> it's just a way to death. Now I have like no health. Uh, the one when you died over and over. Yeah, that was Hexit. Like I said, that server is, that's long gone. Like that world, that server is no more. That's been deleted and gone. That was a long time ago that we did that. That was bad, man. Hexit, Hexit updated. That was like really hard, really bad. We had like no chance. No matter what we did, there was no way we were surviving that. I don't know how people actually managed to play that. Get 
Get over here. I mean, I like I said, I have to do Void Hero today, so like I'm gonna finish this up, but we're gonna hop into Void Hero, and that's gonna be it for today. Ross, let's play it again. No, nah, I'm good on that one. <laughs> that was not fun. It's not fun, like, just trying and building stuff up and dying over and over. Like, it just it just doesn't make for good content, really, and it doesn't. it's not fun to do either. So, like, I have no plans on doing something like that again. I don't think people really want to watch that. Dude, did Dorian? Oh no, Varric died again. Varric is like the weakest member. He's just continually dying. And I just got launched. We're kind of doing bad tactics right now. Me and the me and the other tank are both in one area fighting these guys. They're backing up. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this out here. I guess let's uh, let's get that going. You should play it at 150 members, says Ross. Ooh. Maybe. I, I mean, if I play that again, it's going to have to be, like... I'm going to have to be smart about it. Like, we're going to have to actually focus and try and, like... Try and, like, survive, you know? Can't just go at it like last time, where it's just death after death after death, just repeating over and over... Cause that, that ain't no fun for anybody. Oh wait, there's a... I think that's like an operation I can run if I go over this way. Yeah, unlock expedition. But a solo one? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. If I was to do that again, I could do a world where it's solo and I just actually like focus and try to survive and play through it like that would that would be all right i suppose you'd think it would be easier with more people but it was really not because that was one that i actually i was letting anybody who wanted to join that one so like chase co was there and uh i think i think raul joined once ruzi joined once um Holy frig, dude. What am I supposed to do against these guys? I just die. <laughs> I'm feeling like Dragon Age is at a point where I'm just continually dying. I feel like this is like uh, Hexit right now. Things are kind of rough down here. I feel like my only option is maybe just run away. But these guys are going to keep fighting. Just get my get my guard up see it's hard to hit these guys because they have this freaking shields I died again it's up, it's up to Blackwall to be honest with you I think it's gonna be up to Blackwall again he's the only beast of a character who can survive any of this uh, but you only get three tries at it says Ross Hex it updated, but I if I die three times, uh, it's done. That would be all right with me. Holy freak. Once again, Blackwall's the only one standing. These other guys are like one health point away from death. I don't know what that maneuver does. It turns them purple, but I don't know what that really does for me. It's not going well at all. But you have to survive, Blackwall. You're our only hope here. Honestly. Oh, I think maybe that scares him away. Kind of what it seems like. I 
can't even hit this guy because of a stupid shield. I kind of like that roll. Maybe I should get that for myself. I think I can get that roll maneuver also. It's kind of helpful. Yeah, I think that scares them or something. It makes them like run away. He's doing a hundred damage each hit, and like it's still barely touching these guys' as health. I don't understand what they were thinking when they made the, these fights so uh, so long lasting, so uh, difficult. Maybe I can take this guy out. I can take one of them out. Come on. There we go. There's one down. Let's take another one down. Take another one down. Maybe another one. And then let's try and bring back uh, Dingle Dwarf. Get him back in the fight. Oh, that was good. Whatever that was. Let's get Dingle Dwarf back in here. I'm back. Dingle Dwarf back. I, I hit him and somehow that knocks me down. And I'm dead, I'm dead again. Okay, now he's... Okay, sometimes he hits 100. Sometimes he's in like 70. Just stand there and swing at the air. That's the way to do it. Get frigged up by my shield to the face. Whoa! You don't just knock Blackwall off the freaking edge into the abyss? I almost just... I almost just lost it all there. Blackwall almost just died. He's the one who can't die. Literally every fight, he's the only one who, who survives it all. Let's knock this guy into the abyss if we can. Can we knock him out of here? Sometimes it doesn't actually let you knock people out of He's frozen. He's not even doing anything, so... Honestly, that's alright. This seems to be like a bit of a glitchy area or something. Like, things seem to be a little bit broken here. I don't know what that move does. It brings in like two other people, it looks like, but they don't really do anything. I wonder if I should have been like a higher level when I came to this area. I wonder if that's kind of the uh, the issue we're facing here. Dingledorf, come back! What the fudge? I'm not even playing as my main character because he su he sucks so bad. <laughs> Why did I make a character that sucks so bad? I don't think I can even fix him now at this point. This isn't going well. Not going well at all. Even Blackwall is getting frigged up here. That's how you know it's bad. He's the opposite Sean Bean. Who he's the one who can't die, and yet even he's dying here. I think we're all about to die. No potions. Nothing left. Uh, nothing left to do here but die. I think. God dang. Varric, can you? Where is Varric at? That's why this is not going well. Look at it, it's so broken. He's not even. 
in the map. He's like outside of the map somehow. What the fudge? Like I seriously, I have no choice but to just jump off with him. Okay, go invisible. Oh, the party's back. The party's back. Can we go back for potions? I know there was a potion area like way the heck back there. Oh, a supply cache. Sick. Okay. Everybody can potion up. And we can go back in. Hopefully everybody else is still like at low health. They followed us. Let's take them on one by one over here. This guy's on fire. Yeah, this is good. All right, that's fine. I didn't realize there was a supply cache back there. That kind of saved me a little bit. As long as, like, they're not all got their health back up. Maybe it might be all right. Now I can do my spin maneuver. Oh, they almost knocked me off the edge. We got to get this guy out of here in a bad way. This one's got to go. Where did they go to? Somehow I think they're summoning in more of these guys. Blackwall, why are you just standing? Like, that's such a problem. The fact that my... Look at why is he just standing here? He's frozen. Like, we're in the middle of this horrible fight, and then we got one of our party members just frozen standing there. How are we supposed to manage a fight when we're one of our entire, a whole party members just frozen, not moving? And the strongest party member, honestly, too. Don't make me helicopter off into the void. Please don't make me helicopter off into the void. I don't want that. We're winning? Are we winning? I, I think we're doing it. Yeah, there we go. There we freaking go. Oh, this is not another one of these, is it? Oh, god dang it, it's another one. Get him stuck in the corner and just keep smacking him. Okay, I'm getting the spin maneuver on this fool. Come on. We gotta get past this fight. Oh, I need a potion badly. God dang, this one's tough. This is this is the toughest fight I've ever faced in this game. This is so bad. We're down to black wall again. We might have to run away and let all of our party members respawn again. And then come back in at it. Should I just run for it? I think I'm just gonna have to run for it. This is kind of like very, uh, there's another ogre. What if I run over this way? What if, I, what if I just avoid the fight? I'm going pacifist. What is this way? Have I been over here? I feel like this is an area I've been to. Leaving it all behind. Running off into the into the deep dark cave by myself. Oh, that's that's horrifying. Is that Shelob's lair? Oh, I was chased. Somehow Dorian is here. He was not here before. But this is kind of good, I guess. We got away from everybody else. This is the. This really is the fight of our lives. Somehow their dead bodies teleported to me. 
Which, that's like really a good thing, because I can bring them back. This game is lovely. It's, it's greatly broken, and it's very lovely. I mean, the main the main game, I've never like seen any problems like what we're facing right now. I think it might just be this DLC that's kind of fudged up a little bit. Unless it's supposed to be like this, where there's just like unlimited enemies and that you can never really uh, get past. Maybe that's maybe that's the case. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. All right, the party's back. And uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and call it a day for Dragon Age because this has been kind of rough. Now, I'm gonna hop onto uh, Minecraft after this. I wasn't going to, but we're gonna actually do. Uh, Void Hero. So anybody watching who wants to watch that also, feel free. Oh, fudge, dude. There's more coming. I can't even do an outro because they just they keep showing up. Alright, I guess let's try this fight. Wolfwood says Minecraft. Yeah, I'm playing a uh, Minecraft Void Hero map, which uh, has been a lot of fun. So we're going to continue on with that. It's like a, a series that I've been recording and uploading, but since we're live, I'm just going to stay live and we're going to we're gonna go off with uh, with that one next. So if these guys finally are gonna leave me alone, all right, I kind of have to finish this fight out because um, I, I really want to get a thumbnail here real quick. Ross says you died, you died. We die a lot in this, but we somehow we come back. Somehow we always come back. I can't like. I can't really do anything. I don't think I'm going to be able to save unless I get past this fight. But this fight is never ending. See, they just, more of them just keep spawning in. I don't think I can, I don't think I can win here. <laughs> can I save? I can't save. Saving is locked. We're in a, we're in a bad position here. Let me, uh, I guess I'll keep the recording going just in case something happens. Dude, what do I do? I need to save my game and end and go on to the Minecraft Void Hero map, but I have non-stop fight. Never, the never-ending fight. Like, there's gotta be a way to, to get past this, right? Maybe do we have to run into the spider cave? This is a rough, a rough day here of Dragon Age. Come on, please, frig off. Did we finally win? Let's run into the spider cave. Okay, we have an opportunity. Maybe Do we have an opportunity. I still can't save. Let the music kind of settle out. I need to get a photo. I guess I'm just going to have to do a spider cave photo. Interface, uh, HUD visibility, off. Yes. All right, let's get this freaking thumbnail doohicker here. <laughs> I still don't think that I can save because I think we're still in mid fight. I'm in I can never end Dragon Age now. Dragon Age can never end because I can't get out of this fight. No matter what I do. I just want to play Minecraft. I want to relax and not play something frustrating. <laughs> God dang it, they keep coming. Leave me alone. Why won't you die? There's a constant stream of these guys. There is no escape. I don't know if we can quest uh, quest map out of here or, or uh, world map out of here. Run into the spider cave. Okay. 
We still don't have an opportunity to save. We have to fight a spider now to be able to save? Let's try and fight a spider. We might be in a safety zone. This is a tough spider now, too. Like a boss spider? God dang it, dude. More of them are coming down here. More of these freaking enemies are coming down here. I, I literally cannot escape. I have no no escape from this. I'm never going to be able to end this. What the hell is happening right now? This is the most broken thing I've ever seen in Dragon Age. It's these same guys that keep coming back. They keep respawning and coming after me. No matter how many times I take them out. I thought I might be safe here. Yo, what up, Larry Man? How's it going, buddy? I've, I've been trying to end this stream for like five minutes, ten minutes now almost. Because I can't... It's just a non-stop fight. I'm down here in the deep roads. And no matter what I do, these guys keep spawning in and coming after me. I can't save the game so I can end it. I literally am. I'm stuck in purgatory. I have no way out. I've killed these guys. I can't even tell you how many times. Just die already? The death won't even help because I'll come back and I'll be in the fight still. Okay. We found a gear. We can read a note. So we can... There's more coming, isn't there? There is! They're coming down the cave again! What the... God damn it! Leave me alone! <laughs> I can't get out of this! I just want to save the game! can't save what do I do yeah I can't I can't go anywhere you are stuck in an endless loop I am no matter what, I do. I can't escape. Goodbye. Let me... Let me escape. Nope, more of them are coming. More of them are here. Alright, I guess, like, let's just go back out there, I guess? I don't freaking know, dude. I put my weapon away, but the fight's still not over. Alright, let's go. Let's just get back out there. It's these guys that just keep coming. They won't stop spawning in. We're all low on health, but we're going to have to... I think we're going to have to go back to the bridge, and we're going to have to fight. 
I think that that's maybe what's wrong. I think we have to get past this part. And then we can uh, finally save the game or something. Back to the bridge. Where's Gandalf when you need him to be like, you shall not pass. Okay, I'm going to go. Come on. I'm going to go drop this. I'm going to I'm going to get this guy out of here. I think we have to get rid of this guy. And I think that might get might get it to end. I need my purgatory to be over. Did that work? Long DLC Dragon Age 3. Yeah, we're doing the uh, descent. And um I'm like really stuck at a now we have to defeat ogres? Okay, so I'm seeing a, like a little bit of a thing above me. Saying that there was waves of enemies I needed to defeat. And um, now it says ogres. I don't think I can actually get out of this until I do this stuff. And I have no health potion. One health potion. Two people are dead. Ver well, Varric's not dead yet, but he's about to. We just have constantly respawning enemies. No way to save. Okay, please. Please. Like I'm not I'm not in fight anymore. It still won't let me save though. Yeah, see, there's a bar that says Darkspawn Waves, and then underneath it says how many enemies you've defeated of each kind. So, like, it was the Genlock Alphas, and we beat two of them, so then that moved on to the Ogres. So this was, like, a wave kind of based fight thing. I didn't even realize. I'm just like, they just keep spawning. They won't stop. But still, like, I'd like to um, end the game here and move on, but I can't because I'm stuck in this... I can't save, so like I can't really end it, or we're gonna be set back. I wonder if maybe there's a way I can get out of this area. Uh, you have camp. Yeah, see, it won't let me. There's a camp here. Maybe if I can get to it. Now I think I have to defeat the enemies to be able to set the camp. Let's, uh, yeah, let's set that up as our quest marker. I don't really need this. I kind of want to get rid of this. All right. Yeah, if I can, if I can set camp, then that would be fine. That would be good. It's a good thing I kept recording because I was like, I did the outro and everything. I think I'm just going to cut the outro till after I'm done with this stuff, like when I edit it. Now, where is that camp at, though? I'm not really finding my way to that camp. There's the ogres. I think we have to fight the ogres, and we have no health. No potions. No resupply. Yep, and they grabbed me right off the bat. Dude, me and Blackwall, they grabbed both of us. Is this the way to camp? Can I do it? I can't do it. We have to fight these guys. We actually have to defeat these guys. God dang it, they grab you. That's so annoying. Oh, uh, I'm dead. Bring back Dingle Dwarf, please. Alright, and then let's hit him with one of these. Try and get out of there. 
It's one of those times where we just have to keep like respawning our characters so we can keep the fight going. Dingle Dwarf dead again. Dude. This is real bad. Uh, Dorian, you gotta bring some people back, my dude. Fudge, Dorian's dead. Okay. Blackwall, my man, you gotta do stuff. That guy just charged out of the door. Okay, Dorian's back. Holy frig. He's got me again. All right, Dorian, you gotta bring some people back, my dude. We gotta, we gotta survive this. Okay, can I, uh, what's through this cave opening here? Nothing. I don't think I can go through there. Are we gonna be able to do it? Nope, they're gonna grab me again, aren't they? Yep, they got me. Okay, bring back... Come on, Varric, get out of here and bring back Dingle Dwarf. Please. God dang it. It's down to Blackwall again. They just grabbed Blackwall, didn't they? They tried to. Or did they? No, they got him. Fudge, dude. They're beating the crap out of Blackwall and it's not even doing anything. He's so strong, they can't even hurt him. They keep grabbing him and punching the crap out of him. It's not even killing him. It's not even doing damage. Now another one grabbed him. Oh wait, I'm, I'm still alive. Oh wait, now I'm not. Stop punching the crap out of freaking Blackwall, dude. Why? They're just switching back and forth. One of them punches the crap out of me and then the other one punches the crap out of me. This is the most ridiculous crap I've ever seen. Larry man, how do they expect you to beat this? How would they expect anybody to ever get past this? the crap out of me. <laughs> okay, can I bring somebody back, please? Okay, we got Dorian back. And then he died. Bring Varric back. So he can die. Bring Dingle. Oh, yep, here we go. Punch the crap out of me again. Oh, yeah. That was good. That was good that time. Punched the crap out of me real good. Uh, put it on easy, you say? Yeah, I only have it on normal, I think. It's not even on, like, hard mode. It's on normal. Do they still grab you and punch the crap out of you, though? Because that's, that's ridiculous. Every two seconds, there's, like, no escape from him just grabbing me. Blackwall's dead. It's finally over. Ugh. God dang it, dude. God dang it. All right. All right, that's the end. <laughs> I'm going to take a break for my sanity and stuff. I'll be back, and we'll play some Minecraft Void Hero Map. See you guys in a little bit. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button there on YouTube. Helps out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications because you're not going to miss out on f future streams or videos. Join the Discord so you can come by and chat. And uh, if you want to help support the channel here on YouTube, only 99 cents to become a member. That gets you access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server. We have more enemies coming. And uh, Season 3 is going to be starting soon on that Minecraft server. Also, that gets you emojis you can use in the chat, emojis next to your name that say what level you are, all that good stuff. You'll get some member-only content. Also, if you are watching on Twitch or if you would like to watch on Twitch, um, make sure you drop a follow over there. I'm trying to get up, get up the following. I'm trying to hit that average of three viewers per um, 
per stream or whatever. And uh, so everything over there definitely helps out. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Peace.